month. So today is Sunday. At, well, I've started the stream at 4.20 p.m. Okay. Well, um, I'm planning to do like two half an hour streams or maybe if it takes shorter, then I'll keep them shorter. But we'll see how it goes. So we're... Okay, let me try and let, let me take a sip from my team tea first and then I'll explain what I'm going to do. So... First task we have, um, in the last stream, when I was switching to Google Chrome, you must have seen this markdown to JSX tab open, and that was there for a reason. Um, in the dark mode of our website, let me start the server in the meanwhile. Uh, in the dark mode of our website, image carousel has a scroll bar, right? The, and the image carousel scroll bar doesn't change, like that doesn't change its color uh, when you switch between dark modes and like the white background stuff. Okay, let me go to Q notes. So you have this image cursor in here. And it has a blue scroll bar, right? But in the dark mode, this scroll bar is still blue and doesn't change color. Also, if you open the website in mobile Safari, there's a help text being shown. There's a whole different stream about that. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if I can show it to you in here. Maybe I can. Uh, I think I can. I can open I can try opening the website in Safari, right? Let me show that one to you too. And um, let's go back, select Q notes, um, inspect element. I'm not sure if it was from here, but I, so what I want to do is enter, yeah, enter responsive design mode. Let's select iPhone 8 from here. And let's try refreshing the website. Okay, so in mobile Safari, it's it's shown in here, but in mobile Safari, the swipe to see all images text is not shown or visible. Uh, sorry, uh, what am I talking about? All right, so the scroll bar in here that you see is not visible in mobile Safari because mobile Safari doesn't render the scroll bars when they're horizontal, even they're vertical sometimes. I don't know how it works, but it doesn't render this scroll bar, right? So I want to show the, show the user, um, like swipe left and right hint text in here. But this is also hard coded into image carousel too. This should be passed as a property, and that's one of the first first factors that I'll be doing in this specific stream. And up next is just yeah, changing this color um, based on if you're using dark mode or light mode. Yeah, so let's get started with that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is obviously um, explain you how we can pass properties, or at least I can. I think. This is how you pass properties into this markdown to JSX component that we use. Okay, so uh, as it, I'm not sure if you know, but as you might have known from the past, um, I am using markdown files for my blog posts. So these are markdown files, and inside these markdown files, let's close all of them. Okay, so inside these markdown files, I have my custom components as such. And these custom components gets get, they get picked up by my image carousel, uh, not the image carousel, the blog post by the blog post component. And the blog post component uses a component called Markdown, and this Markdown uh, component calls another library, which uh, is coming from here, Markdown to JSX. It calls the Markdown to JSX library, and this library transition like translates and a Markdown file into a into a website or like website uh, into H1, H2, H3, um, P, like list item image tags, like the, the, the HTML code, right? But I also want to have custom components. So this library translates the uh, markdown file. And also if there are any custom components inside, it pulls the custom components automatically and injects them into the website too. Um, so I have my custom image carousel that I use in my markdown files. Um, and this is how you pass properties to them. And apparently there's another way to pass properties to them. So what I was thinking was, I was just gonna add another property called help text in here. And then I'm gonna, I was gonna say swipe left and right, right? But then if I put this in here, I have to duplicate this across all of these cases and it's gonna, it's always gonna be the same. So there's no point in doing that. And also I, I, I'd rather not put um, any non-custom text in here like this this is going to be all static right i i was wondering if there's a way to put all all uh texts like texts like that into 
the component, the blog post component itself, and we can pull it down from a JSON file. That would be the, that would be the better approach. So I was researching online, and turns out yes, you can pass um, pass variables using this props property that you have inside your Markdown component. I'm not sure. I haven't tested if it works or not, but I'm I'm confident that this might do this might do what we need the image carousel component to do. I think we can pass a style in here, plus uh, we should be able to pass a string as such, right? All right. Um, first, I think I need to extract the help text of the, Im the image carousel into a JSON file, or maybe I can extract it into a blog post uh, JSON file if we have one. I'm not sure if we have one, but we don't have we have blog navbar. We don't have blog post. Yeah, this is the nav bar. Okay, we might need to create an image carousel um, JSON file, but there's only going to be one thing in it, which is still okay. Or we could create a blog post JSON file. I, I'm not sure at this point. Uh, I think it's better to create. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's just create a JSON file and then we can rename it later if, if, if we want to, right? Let's get started from something and let's have a working model where, where, where we can experiment with stuff. Okay, uh, so I do not remember where I put my JSON files. They're, they're probably under the data. They are here. So we, we have blog.json. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Let's have, um, let's have another file called blogpost.json. And this file is only going to have um, image carousel help text. And this help text is going to be swipe to see all images. That's that's what I've written in somewhere else, right? In the image carousel. I've hard I remember hard coding it. So let's just go to image carousel. So this is what I had from before. Is it the same thing? It must be the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. So we are going to pass this as a co pass as a property to image carousel. That's the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to create another property in here. We're going to call this image come on, carousel help text. And this help text is going to come come as a property. We're going to add to here and it's going to be optional it like no I do not maybe it was like this yes it was like this okay cool so this is the proper syntax on how to do that and we're gonna inject this in here uh, image carousel help text okay now let's clean this file up okay looks good and we're gonna try and pass the variable from inside the blog post component to do that we're gonna import this uh, blog post JSON as such we're gonna call this blog post oh wait um, that's a problem okay let's call it image yeah and and what we're gonna do is import it inside but then you don't you're not passing it as a property anymore it comes default with hmm actually this is not something that we have to pass right this is a static text which could be just put in inside of here so I'd rather than just having image case or help text in there I'm gonna have something like is dark I'm gonna have this variable in here this property uh, or or maybe we can have scrolled bar Scroll bar color seems better, sounds better. 
let's rename this file. Keyboard shortcuts, usually. Uh, image carousel. So we're an image carousel in there. So this is renamed as image carousel. Um, and in here, we're gonna do image carousel dot image carousel help text. Okay, that will import what we need. Okay. Image carousel has already been declared. Oh, it's a style. Whoops. Ugh. You know what? It has every right to have that name. Image carousel text. I don't want to call it image carousel strings though. Hmm, what could we call this thing? a better name. We're going to change this to carousel. Okay. 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 All right, that works. Now we're going to use the scroll bar color um, and this will be a class name, right? And uh, I'm not entirely sure where, where we are going to put this, but um, this is probably going to require some more work. Okay, let's think about how we can put the scroll bar color. So let's open the SAS file side by side and so we can see the scroll bar stuff. Um, border radius. So this is how we pass the color. And um, we're going to create another style. Um, yeah. This is going to be the transition, okay, but the colors are going to be coming from somewhere else. Okay, um, so where is the CS Festival carousel? It's right there, right? Yep, that's pretty much the only place that it's used. Okay, so at this div. Oh, I see. Okay. And we want to be able to pass the color from another component. Let's see how other people did it. Okay, there's no proper way to do it then. I'll, I'll just do it my own way. Um, to do that, we're gonna just modify blog post module dot sass. Um, and then in here, oh, let me open the sass file. Blog post module dot sass. Whoop, I'm gonna check this in there, close this down. And let's split these horizontally. Okay, so we have the dark mode stuff in the, at, at the bottom, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this style and I'm going to put it um, somewhere. Like 
in here maybe yeah that's fine and i'm gonna have the color as such i'm gonna remove this transition this transition in there and i'm gonna remove the colors from i'm not gonna remove the colors from there we're just gonna override them somehow these are gonna be the default values <clears throat> Yeah, and also if you're gonna have a style called dark carousel hover. Yeah, just let's darken here. Let's have that dark, dark carousel there, and let's change this color to I don't know, um, like a more white-ish type of color. So what was it before? It was this, right? Let's just change it's, this thing to be like brighter. Not purplish, but yeah, something along those lines. And let's change this. And then let's, yeah, let's just keep that one. Um, so let's, let's try and, or let's make this orange for now just to see the difference. Oof, this is difficult stuff right let's go back to blog post import these new styles that we have so we have carousel and we have dark carousel okay so this is where we start passing the styles so the, the props component in here we're gonna pass it as such right So what's the prop that we're passing? It's the scroll bar color. And this is, this depends on if it's dark or not. And it is carousel or, come on, dark carousel, depending on our style. I do not think this is going to work. Let's put put it in image carousel too. So this is coming as a property now. And Oh yeah. And let's put this in here. Put the dollar sign I do not think this is going to work because I don't think this component re-renders each time we change the class name in here, but let's give it a shot, right? So let's open one of the blogs and right here you see QNote. So you have this color now, but if we switch to that style, yeah, it doesn't change, right? It's still the same. Wonder what happens if you delete this specific style from there um, and then that one too and then that one too what breaks okay the, the style of this is gone which makes me wonder is this not, is is this not how we pass property to, properties to these components maybe 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 that's the case. Okay. Maybe you can't pass properties as you wish to these things. Okay, we can do. We can experiment with that, right? Um, we can instead of passing this, we can just pass um, ASDF, ASDF, and ASDF, and we can try and print that inside here. We can have a console dot log uh, we can say from image carousel and then print the property which is scroll bar color let's see if let's see if this is a string my housemates are going crazy <laughs> i think that'll do the job all right Yeah, so we can pass properties um, from inside 
blog post to JSX. What if, what if we, instead of doing that, what if we do this? What happens then? So we keep passing a style. Um, hmm. But apparently that, that doesn't get assigned. I do not remember how you pass um, CSS CSS classes just by using this method, but oh. okay. Let's see if we can pass anything else. Um, how would you do that? Okay, let's think. So we're getting these things. Mm hmm. In one of my components, I remember passing a class name, right? In one of them, I had a class name, at least in one of them. Uh, on site links should be one of them. So I have a util class, yeah. So this is how you pass them. Let's see how I use this thing. Okay, now bar item is one of them too. Um, class name is brand. What's brand? Brand is coming as another class. Okay. So these things are not null and they're definitely getting passed. Maybe, maybe I just have to restart my server. It's, is it one of those? It's never that, it's never that, but I still want to try. I just want to make sure that it's me that has the error in this case. Okay, it's definitely my, my fault. Now that the server has restarted too, it's def it is definitely my fault. Hmm. Okay, we. I want to see if the component re-renders each time if we click this button at the top. Yeah, it does. So we get five calls. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, we have five image carousels in here. So they're all re being re-rendered, but the scroll bars are not being changed. Okay. Right, what if we do background like green in the dark carousel? Does this get passed? Yes. So this gets wait, what this is this should be the dark style, not the light one. Whoops, there's an error there. Uh so this dark carousel is actually the light one. Oh yeah, um I switched the order up. I I mixed I I, I have the wrong order. Is that why? I hope that's why. I don't think that's why, but I mean, if that was why, then this scroll bar wouldn't be like this. Um, so if we make it dark, then it, they're gonna have green background, which is okay, which is what I want. Maybe these styles are getting overridden by something else, which is something we can verify by right click and inspect. Um, well, no, it's not being overridden by anything. It's still there, but they're not. It's so difficult to understand what's wrong and right in here. Okay, so this div has this dark carousel method, dark carousel um, style, right? 
and this dark carousel is actually wanting to change this thing's color from that to and oh that's why these things have to be passed too hmm. then i think we're okay this is going to be such a big problem now Okay, let me show you the fix and then we're going to reward some of these changes and I'm going to show you what the problem was. So you have to pass these and also these two. And you, you have to re rename these as Dark Carousel. And I think it's going to work now. Yeah, see? It works now. See, it changes color. And now if I enter dark mode, the background becomes orange. So, okay. Um, you have to import all of these styles together with the actual one so that it works. But I do not want to clutter my blog post up module that says file with, the, with all of these things. So I think it's better to just pass it the is dark property. So it adjusts background color accordingly. Okay. So let's remove, let's get rid of all of these. Yeah, okay, back to zero, back to square one. And we're gonna have this, we're gonna keep this in here too. And we're just gonna pass it is dark. And we're gonna rename this is dark. Um, this is gonna be is dark. And we can remove this and say if it's dark, then um, just do not scroll bar, but uh. yeah. I'm gonna to explain to you what I did with a second carousel. So we're gonna pass this carousel style regardless. And after we pass the carousel style, if it's in dark mode, then we're gonna inject, we're gonna override these styles with our own style, right? Paste them in, remove this one, and we are ready to change this color. Let's change it with red, and let's change this with like, like I don't know, purple or something, which is an obviously visible color, so we can adjust it later on. So, yeah, we passed these styles. What's wrong with this? Okay, I put, forgot to put null. Let's pass it null. And this is going to be a question mark. Okay. Oh, okay, according to is dark. Is dark is a property that's boolean. Pro types boolean or bool, um, and it's not required. Can I just say false in here? Yeah, probably. Okay, that should fix the problem. All right, now we have this purple and orange scroll bar and if we switch to light mode, then we're gonna have our normal thing. Uh, but I want to change this color. But, like I want to make this a proper color before I ship this, obviously. I don't wanna have a disco mode on my website, do I? All right, uh, so non-hover version is gonna be 
I don't know, it's still going to be blue, but like it's definitely not going to be white. It's going to be like gray like this. Yeah, that's okay. And the hover version where is that color coming from? Maybe it can be more white. Like, okay, let me dial in the 75, 75, 75 color. So it's gonna be 75. And this could be a lighter shade of this. I mean, it could be, I don't know, A5, A5, A6 maybe? Okay, let's try that. Yeah, we can make the change a bit less, a bit more subtle. Um, so we can make this like five, 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 which is a darker color, and that's gonna be lighter. Okay, that's that's a that's an okay change, right? That looks fine. And let's open the website in Safari, and let's make sure the help help text is uh, provided. develop um, responsive design and let's refresh the website give me the help text yes the help text is here okay I think the scroll bar is too dark though let's change it co it's colored back to like six five yeah. okay seven five seven five seven five is fine I'm gonna change this a eight a eight a eight a eight not a eight actually a four a four a four yeah okay Yeah, I'm happy with this change. And I think I can push this in. This is it. Let's see the console. There's an A. Okay, dark carousel is defined but never used. Blog post.jsx. Thanks for warning me before I push all of those changes. Thank you. And those things do not exist in blog post. module. that has to get it. Oops, no. Let's remove the comma in there. Clean up this file. Let's go back to image carousel. So clean up this file too. Okay. I think that's good. Let's review our changes. Yeah, we are passing this property now. Oh wait, are we passing the... Oh, we don't need this. It's coming from a JSON, right? Okay, this is the JSON file for the help text. Uh, these are not the new things in our image carousel, which are just dark and light colors. You know what, we can change this back to image carousel now. It's, I think it's a better name. Let's refactor this. Okay, let's change this too. That's not how you spell carousel. Carousel, okay. Let's make sure everything works again. Image carousel is used but not defined. Where is that? Um, image carousel at JSX line eight. Wait, is th is this not used? Are you sure? No, it can't be. Oh yeah. All right. No errors whatsoever. Yeah, the hover color changes here. If we switch the light, this still works too. Okay, let's make sure everything in the rest of the website looks fine. Yeah, this looks okay. Oops, no, no. Okay. 
that's good. Okay, I'm happy with these changes and I will merge them in and do a deployment. That's it for this stream. Uh, in the next streams, I'm going to be modularizing, well, I'm going to be extracting the so we have this button right here. It's the same button that we use in the blog too. So I'm going to extract this into its own component and pass the color and the border radius as a property or something. All right, see you in the next stream and bye.